Cleopatra, who was the queen of Egypt in the 1st century BC, is one of the antiquity's most influential female rulers. She was the last ruler of the Macedonian dynasty, the last resident of Ptolemy, general of Alexander. Her life inspired many films and dramatizations, including one of the most famous plays of Shakespeare, Antony and Cleopatra. Much of her accounts comes from Greece, Roman scholars, and most notably from Plutarch. She was born around 70 or 69 BC. After the death of her father, Ptolemy II, the throne passed to her and her 10 years old younger brother, Ptolemy XIII. Soon complications arose between Cleopatra and Ptolemy XIII after they assumed power. Eventually, Cleopatra had to flee Syria where she assembled an army in order to seize power. During this time, when she returned to Egypt to counter her brother, Rome was in the middle of civil war between Julius Caesar and Pompey. Pompey fled to Egypt. Ptolemy, in order to curry favor with Caesar, murdered his rival Pompey. The outcome was quite the opposite as Caesar was enraged at the murder of his former friend and a Roman consul by a foreign subject. Cleopatra seized this opportunity and sneaked into Caesar's room and enchanted him with her beauty and intelligence. With the strength of Caesar's military, might Ptolemy was overthrown and killed and Cleopatra became the ruler of Egypt. Caesar remained in Egypt with Cleopatra and she gave birth to a child that was believed to be Caesar's son and famously known as Caesarian or Little Caesar. Although Caesar never publicly declared the child to be his son. Cleopatra brought relative stability to the region as her reign was prosperous and peaceful. In 44 BC, Julius Caesar's assassination led to power struggle between Mark Antony and Augustus. The antagonism between them grew into civil war. Cleopatra, who was involved in romantic affair with Mark Antony, joined his side against Augustus and finally their forces met on the west coast of Greece. Antony and Cleopatra were finally beaten in the battle and escaped back to Egypt. However, Octavian's forces allowed the couple. Her death is grounded by mystery and romance. After hearing the false news of death of Cleopatra, Antony committed suicide and when Cleopatra came to know about the death of Mark Antony, she also committed suicide by allowing a poisonous cobra to bite her. After her death, Octavian took control of Egypt and it became a province of Roman Empire. Egyptian Empire ended with her death and she was the last pharaoh of Egypt.